What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, episode 38. So, I cannot remember what happened last time. Um, because it's been a while. Mmm. What is this? Whipped cream? Yeah. Um. What happened last time? It was... Ooh. Was that with Pride, with Selene? Threatening Hawkeye and all that? He was the first homunculi. Her homunculus. I don't know what happened. Well, watching the episode will refresh my memory, so anyway. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just jump into it because I cannot. My memory is so bad. Okay, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Every time I see shadows, I'm gonna be freaking out. She's gonna be like, I need to turn every light on. Oh no! The shadows. You need light to create a shadow, so I'll turn them all off. Kinda got drunk and somehow bought a car full of flowers. <laughs> do me a favor and take some off my hands. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was bad. What's wrong? There we go. Magic of something right. happened? Hmm. No, sir. It's nothing. He can tell. I ship Are it. Sure? It's amazing how uncanny his timing is. Oh, race over there. Make sure she's okay. Conflict. At oh. Uh oh. Now let's so maybe see. he is here. Ah, What's it gonna take to he was in that, um. Ah, that abandoned there house. Right over there. there was? He went this way! <laughs> hey, hold on! <laughs> My boys, I love them. It's gonna take weeks to search every one of these buildings. They could be gone by then. Things a hell of a lot easier if Scar and that girl just came to us. What if they just. <laughs> I was just about to say, what if they pop up? Can't be. No way. Is this a trap? <laughs> she likes him. Her knight is shining armor. What are you doing here, May, I didn't think we'd ever find you. Aww. You came this whole way just so you could find me. Yeah, I really needed to see you. <laughs> She's just Why am a friend. I this like I was on yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Dude, if they got in a relationship, like I don't know. Oh. How old is May? I forgot how old she is. How old is it? Al's 15, right? Al, she's probably like 10, 10, 11. They got married when they were older. What is that like? Cause they, they may be, they, they're probably around like four or five years apart, if I had to guess, right? I mean, that's fine. I mean, don't get together right now. Wait till you're both in your 20s, and then you're good to go. But, what was I going to say? I was thinking about, I, might, I thought I wanted to say something else. They're trying to get away. Oh, yeah. Talk to them about the book and all that, okay? Hopefully they um, were able to decode it, or whatever is the right term. I don't know. The Elric brothers are here! Huh? And who are you? Don't <laughs> that reaction. Don't how could you have forgotten Yoki, the great proprietor of Usewell? Hmm? Rather easily. Are you sure we've what? actually met? Oh, how cruel! And after you destroyed my life! Huh? Uh -huh. Am I supposed to remember him? This is before we met them? The glorious mining. The people loved me. For I was more devoted um, to their happiness than anything. I don't think so. That cannot be true. You look like you were a piece of fucking shit! Hmm. 
Yeah, they didn't like you. Look what you just, you just snapped the kid! We were cursed by the arrival of the greatest criminal of all time, the state alchemist, Edward Elric. All a matter of perspective on who the villain is. Yeah, attack on Titan people. The mine was stolen from me. Even worse, I was banished by the ungrateful townspeople. The military even fell for their wretched lies. Okay. I then tried to invest my savings. Invest. Only to yet again be swindled. Hmm. Left with no other options. I called upon a wealthy family to request a charitable loan. <laughs> this guy's just... Just... Damn. Damn! Don't underestimate these women. Fuck him up. He's an asshole. He's a liar. A cheater. A stealer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> None of it would have happened a thief. If it weren't so the she said. Brothers. You got what That's you deserve. You were a piece of shit. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing would scum, scum, my scum. The ones who had done this. Not right. I'll never let a thieving hussy like you take it from me. Oh, I already told you Whoa. she's just a childhood friend. Oh. You should think about something else, like Alcahus. So you're telling me that you lost the girl? You're not the most competent soldier, are you? I'm sorry, sir. I'll lead a search team. <laughs> I need two men from Charlie's squad. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you guys probably have questions of your own. Scar, hand over the notebook. Actually, translate it first. Can you guys talk to them about what you found already? Oh. They're ripped. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, they are, um, chimeras or something, right? So we have a pig. And, uh, what is that? You look like a fucking Chimera's ogre. Let's go. <laughs> Old Metal Alchemist. I needed my... Old My three blades alchemist. that come out like Wolverine. Shink, shink. That was. I'll, I'll do it again. Shink. Met, <laughs> like what it takes to the collection of his research and theories. His brother. <laughs> it's written did in you... code, but we believe this book contains all of the answers that we need. You still didn't if decipher, we can decipher it. Decipher what's in there, then Al and I can. Perhaps. Maybe they I can do it so. then. If, but if, they'll uh, be impossible uh... to translate without the assistance of. Scott. Okay. What? He still didn't look at it. What do we need him for? It's his people, it's his language, it's his brother. Maybe if it's not even in the- if it's not in their language, then... I don't know. The then Scar maybe only the two of them know the code. The okay. So Scar's here. Don't do anything, Winry. It's not the time. We need to use him first. We've already got this under control. You just sit tight while we take care of Scar. No can do. Ah, yes! Boom, boom, boom. The two of you, we're all on the same side! Are we, though? Oh, <laughs> oh, this kid is even faster than Scar. What? No, he's not. That's not true. Uh, brother? What are you laughing at? I thought Ed struggled against Scar. Should I really take this guy's word for it? Maybe he is. If he is, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so light to oh, his arm and leg are lighter. Okay, so that's why. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Your special power is saliva? Well, if that's the case, Oh, Oh, shit. See, Scar, you could learn something from them. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> I love how they're just playing stupid. Yes, leave yourself vulnerable. Thanks for the opportunity, sucker! Let's go, bro! It's a good episode, dude. Alright, big guy. Why don't you take a little nap? Yo, what the fuck? 
You just cracked his neck. Shouldn't he be dead? Can you guys not just work together for a fucking minute, please? I need you guys to get this book deciphered. Ed. To me, then I'll take it. <laughs> you need to know all the properties. You can't destroy it. My arm isn't steel anymore. Get you, bitch! <laughs> oh. Winry, you're gonna make him hesitate. <gasps> yup. Just, what the fuck? Is this what really doing, necessary? You idiot? Can't you just have him decipher it without doing all this hullabaloo? Winry, stop Shut up! Stay back. Stop it! No, let her talk to him. God damn. It's all right. It couldn't be any less all Let right. her talk to him. Miss, you need to stay back. Let her just talk to him. Please understand. She needs this. You have to let me. She needs some type of closure. I get you want to keep her safe. I totally understand. Just let her do this. She's not gonna do anything stupid. I can tell. Why did you kill Okay, she needs to understand. There's nothing I can say that won't sound like an excuse. And nothing can change the fact that I, I am responsible for mm. their deaths. They're listening. May. I think she would stick by his side anyway, though. Regardless of his past transgressions, all this false. Take these men to sick bay. Oh, is that so, what they were doing down there? No they were gathering up their were fallen brethren, or any hours. survivors, uh, or. Yes, sir. But as you can see, it hasn't My... been 24 hours yet. It's broken. Uh, it doesn't even work. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. She is the best, dude. I love the way she loves her people. She makes me want to cry. I love her so much. Did you find the advance party? There are only two survivors. She's the best. And thanks for showing your soldiers a little mercy. Ah, so cute. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, play it cool like you always do. You're a softy. So, ooh, I love that bitch so much. Oh. She, dude, appears we have she's a ride or die for sure. I would follow her to the ends of the earth. I would get, I don't know, I don't know if I would give my life for her. I, would, I don't want to die, but Long I probably would. Job. If I was like in this situation, you know. God What's damn it, Ed. Ugh. You bastard. This is all your fault, Kimley. You were supposed to be watching Winry. Oh, fuck. Mr. Kimley, what? Look up there I hope this room. is all an act. What the fuck? This is an act, right? What the fuck? There's no way. What? Why did I just turn black? What the fuck? Yeah, no, after okay. Damn it! Oh, I can't tell. I know she wanted to ask him questions, and then they just cut away from it. So I don't know. Right? Or am I not remembering correctly? I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure. He said nothing. I everything's gonna sound like an excuse. Maybe he did just blow up. Like, he just couldn't handle it. Like, facing the consequences of his actions. Because the people you kill, it doesn't just end there, you know? Like, we talked about this before, I think. It's all of the people who were connected to them as well. Their family, their friends. They're also affected. Those, I don't know. You don't think about that, though, do you? Uh, well, not everyone does. Some people might. But, in his, in his case... I don't know, I don't I don't think that he did. And now that he's got to, like, face it head on and own it, like Kimberly said, go into it with your eyes wide open. Don't try to hide from what you're doing. You know, you need to be well aware of what you're doing and own it and live with it. Don't try to make excuses for what you did, you know. And 
he's not. He is owning it. But I think it's still hard. It's still hard to, to face up to the fact that you took, one, you took two innocent people's lives away. And you took a little girl's parents away from her. She had nothing to do with any of that. You know, it, I don't know. So I, I get why Rin, Winry wanted to ask questions. She wants to understand why did you do it? What, like, did you at least have a good reason for what you did? Or could I, even if it's not a good reason, I mean, I, I don't know if there really is ever, t to certain people, I think they would say there's never a good reason to kill someone, but <sighs> that's hard. I don't want to say, I mean, death is, I don't know, like, killing is bad, but then I, when I think about it, like, would I feel bad if I killed a rapist or, um, like, a serial killer? I mean, no, I wouldn't, because they deserve it. Is that shitty to say? Oh, I sound like a psycho. I would never kill a person, but, like, when you watch TV and you see a rapist or, like, a serial killer die, do you feel bad? No. I think it's it's kind of depends on your values. I'm like whether you would say that they deserve it or not. I don't know. I have this conversation with my brother sometimes. He's like, "Do you think that they deserve to die?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, would you do it?" I'm like, "No." Well, first of all, I would never because I'm I'm just a coward. Like I can't I can't even watch someone kill a bunny or a deer. I just can't. Like people try to say, "Oh, well, it's food. It's the circle of life." I don't know. Nah. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> no. 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 Like. You don't need that rabbit to live. Go pick some fucking berries and eat a peanut. You don't need... You don't need to, to kill... No. People survive. <laughs> Vegetarians and vegans survive. I mean, you don't need meat. You can get protein in other ways. Um, I barely ever eat meat. Like, I just... I don't. I don't like it. I don't really like meat. So, I don't want to hear that. No, thank you. Anyway. Um, and I'm fine. I get my blood work drawn every year. My shit comes back a o fucking k. <laughs> Everything's normal. Um, well, the amount of like my protein's a little low with that, but that's fine. Like I don't, or what is it? Your bun, but that like it produces that when you eat protein. Um, so since I'm not eating a lot, but that the levels are okay. What am I talking about? So anyway, but it's like I was making a point. Where, what was I saying? Would I feel bad? Okay, uh, I don't know. Like, she wants to know, did he at least, well, I remember what I was saying. Like, did he have a good reason at least? Because, I I mean, we've asked, I asked myself that question. I'm, animated characters ask themselves that question. Like, for instance, with, with Aaron. Like, did Aaron have a good reason for doing what he did that last episode? It depends on who you ask. I mean, is everyone sees things differently. No, depending on who you ask, some people say yes, some people say no. In Winry's situation, I don't know if any answer he gave would be good enough. So I don't even know if asking that question was a good idea. But if she wants to get closure, she wants to get closure. I hope you guys don't think I'm psycho for saying that, like, a murderer or a rapist deserves, like, a serial killer. Not like, like, if you hit someone with your car on accident and you accidentally killed them, I'm not going to say you deserve, like, it... It was an accident. I mean, you guys could go on and on about, like, were they on their phone? Were they... But if it's if something's a complete accident, I mean, would you condemn someone to death? I think if she would have said, if he would have told her, like, it was an accident, like, I didn't mean to, then maybe she'd be satisfied with that answer. But knowing that he did it on purpose, I don't know, man. I don't know if any answer is going to satisfy her. I really don't. Um, but what else? But whatever. She, she it's She's her own person. I'm not Winry, so maybe this is what she needed. It seems like it is. But people think that revenge is what they need. They think killing the person who killed their parents or whoever, right, their loved one, is going to make them feel better, and usually it doesn't. It doesn't change much, right? So I don't know if the answer to this will help in any way. So, But then, like, is that why he, like, made that explosion? Because he just couldn't handle it and he just exploded or like just to get like made an explosion to get out of there or um because he was holding her is it all just a big show so that the boys can escape or like pin something on Kimberly and kind of get him out of their hair for a bit because they really need I was kind of getting irritated as you guys saw because I understand that they're mad and they hate him because of what he did to Winry and all these other people that 
you know, all these other like state alchemists and things and um i'm sure he's killed other people other than state alchemists but i can't remember my memory's bad but um what was i saying so i get why it would be hard for them to work with him but if you really want the answers to to alchemistry and like the way it works and all those things you guys need to kind of put that aside which i know is hard i know that's hard but you you need to because he's the only one that can decipher that book i don't think the other guy um with the glasses who he has the ishvalan blood I, I don't think he was he wasn't raised there so i don't know i don't think he has like he doesn't speak their their language or he maybe he doesn't maybe they speak the same language all around because they're all the same um under the same rule but like i don't know if like their written language could be different or like that code could just be it's an ishvalan thing like it's their culture but if he wasn't raised there i don't think he would he wouldn't know it so he you can't ask him so you're really only left with scar and if it's not like an ishvalan thing and maybe it's like you know how sometimes you've ever i don't know if you've ever seen anything like this but like sometimes siblings will make up their own code their own language or something or even friends maybe it's something just between him and his brother like that i don't know and so again he'd be the only one that'd be able to decipher it so but he may like i said in past videos he might not know what it what it means like he could tell you okay that's this word in, the, in english or whatever right but he might not understand what it's talking about if it's something he's not educated on, like alchemy, which is why you would need May, uh, and Ed, and Alphonse, because it might have components from each type of alchemy, or alchemy and alchemy, so you would need both of their, their inputs, um, yeah, and well, Dr. Marco, too, because he knows some things that the boys don't, um, uh, anything else? Um, I think... You guys were talking about something. You did explain in a comment somewhere about, like, their alchemy. I don't know if this is a spoiler, though. Because I was I was confused on their alchemy and, like, where it comes from. And you know how he, the father has all those pipes in, like, connected to that chair? I'm not going to say it, actually, because that seems like it's a spoiler now that I think about it. Because they never actually explained it okay i'm not gonna say anything because now i feel like that was a spoiler oh my god did i got spoiled on something so big for attack on titan 2 it ruined one of my theories but anyway but i'm not gonna say anything about it but i just hate that like i was trying to look something up and it popped up and i'm like dude are you fucking i was trying to look up a character name that's what it was and then something popped up and i'm like are you fucking serious that's not what I was asking. And I wasn't looking up a spoiler. I just couldn't remember the name of a character that I was trying to uh, talk to my... Was it my brother or Chris? I can't remember. But I was trying to talk to one of them about it and I couldn't remember... Uh, what's his name? Galliard. His name? <laughs> like, it popped... Does that ever happen to you guys? Oh, that triggered the fuck out of me. I'm like, well... Don't ruin it for someone else. Keep your fucking mouth shut. <sighs> anyway. So, uh, what was I talking about? I, um, but this episode, so yeah, I think since they were trying to escape the boys, I think this is all a big production. Uh, they're probably going to put their shit aside eventually. I don't know when, but eventually and talk to him and figure all this shit out. But if, if it's not a big production, um, and he's like, I just don't know what his reasoning would be for kidnapping Winry just to get away. Like he has a hostage. So they just, they let him go. I don't know. Could be. Uh, what else happened this episode? Ed loving his new, uh, cold weather auto mail. It's a lot lighter, but it's, it, it's, it's weaker, right? So, like, it doesn't have as much impact when he's punching someone. We saw that, which, uh, it, it's a, it, what is, you gotta, what is it called, uh, um, it's a give and take. It's a trade-off, you know, which with each element. So I get it. Makes sense. Can't have everything, dude. There's always something that's that's gonna change. Um, 
what else? Um, anything else worth talking about for this episode? I, just, I feel like I mentioned everything. She was so funny. May and uh, Alphonse. She's like, wait, why am I explaining this? Like, I cheated on her or something. Like, or like I'm trying to defend myself. Uh, or what did he say? It's right here. Why am I explaining this? Like I was cheating on her or something. That was right. I mean, I don't know if that's a hint to them being in a relationship, but I'm okay with it. If it's as long as it's like later on and they're not like kids. I don't know. Just because. Well, number one, I don't know if I would be interested in that right now. Number two, I just... She's like 10. No. Um, but she's short. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's older than that. Because everyone, like I told you, everyone thinks I'm 16 and I just turned 23 yesterday, so... I could be wrong. Um, what else happened? Let's keep skimming. That idiot complaining about how hard his life was... I get it from your perspective, Ed's probably the villain because he's the reason that your life turned to shit, but you were an asshole. You you lied to people, you treated them like shit, you, you overtaxed them, you skimmed on their salaries, you tried to steal from people, you... what else did he do? Um, you gambled away your life savings like an idiot. I tried to invest it. Uh, what else did he do? I can't remember. All that shit. I'm like, and you want to say it's their fault? Okay, maybe you getting fired. No, not even. That's your fault because you were doing some fucked up shit. If you weren't doing some fucked up shit, that wouldn't have happened. Follow the rules. As long as, mm, let's not go into that. Because not, not every rule is a rule that I, that should be followed. I mean, there's some fucked up rules, so. Um, like in the show I'm watching, for instance, they like, um, there's a rule that says that they don't allow any interspecies relationships, like a witch can't date a vampire or a demon, like the, demons with demons, witches with witches, vampires with vampires, and I'm just like, eh, fuck you mean, shut up, no, 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 that people can fall in love with or date or be friends with whoever the hell they want, fuck, you can't tell somebody that, oh, I got triggered, so yeah, but then again, it's like, Going against that, oh, I scared you. I'm so sorry, Koda. He just jumped so hard. It's risky. Um, so that's why I kind of like ooh, this is shaking. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I I like. Um, I respect people who are willing to like fight against or rebel against laws that are seriously fucked the hell up. Anyway. Why am I talking about that? Oh, <coughs> yeah, because that guy was breaking the rules. <coughs> and I said, follow the rules and you'll be fine. But, yeah, okay. You guys get what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense here. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Mm, I think that's it. I feel like I talked about everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully no one thinks I'm a psycho by the end of this episode. Hopefully no one thinks I'm a, a piece of shit. I'm pretty sure I didn't say anything wacky, but uh, it's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my video. I keep shaking this fucking camera. How do I keep doing that? Is it me, like, moving my chair? I don't know. Maybe I'm touching the stand. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.